Hello, Gentleman Gamer here, and today I'm playing EVE Online, and I'm continuing my hunt for NPC ore haulers, and today we're going to hunt down this one, as long as we get there quick enough, let's warp to zero. Now, this one is a little trickier, and the, the process of taking this down is a lot more tedious, and so I'm going to tell, tell you the steps as I'm doing them, of course, first off, find the mining fleet, which we did. Secondly, engage the Impel, which is the Amar Tech 2 variant of the Bestower. But do not scram it. Do you want it to run away? <laughs> You'll figure out in a second why I'm doing that. Here we go. Alright, now, as soon as you engage it, it'll, run away. it'll start to warp, um, to align out to warp. And we'll be warping to this spot which is a pre-made bookmark about 300 off from the actual uh, mining belt. As soon as the fence fleet lands, we're warping off. Here we go. Alright, now, now this gives us about 300 km to actually uh, combat probe down the impel and the mining fleet and also gives us some buffer space <laughs> where these guys will stay on grid with me. Um, and not warp to the defense fleet. Well, not to warp to the mining fleet. So they're about 240, uh, 240 off, which should be okay. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Now they should clump up together somewhere away from here, which I'm over here right now. Um. Let's try this side a bit more. Got to keep an eye on the fence fleet because they will keep following me. They don't warp to you, but they will slow boat. They're not going super fast. Let's keep moving here. I'm betting it's this little clump of ships right here. Oh, an arc. <laughs> That's not what I was looking for at all. All right, let's uh, ignore that. Not the exhumer, not the exhumer. We should keep moving. Not the exhumer. Okay, so a couple more. I'm assuming it's this one that's nearby it. So that was the hauler. So as long as your ship is going faster than the fast ship they have here as an executioner, you should they should never be able to catch up with you and they'll keep chasing you. So <laughs> make sure they don't get too close. There we go, see, so we're good now. There we go, we found him. Hopefully this is the Impel I'm looking for, and not uh, uh, not the other fleet. There's two fleets currently in this system. So, last time I, I did this, I accidentally scanned down a Bestower by accident. Alright, a little more. Maybe next scan. Move it down a little bit. Keep an eye on the defense fleet. <laughs> okay. There we go, we got, we got it. So next thing I'll do, save this spot. Because we're coming in, we'll just call it Impel for this. I'll close this out. Bring the probes back in. Now we're gonna warp to this to zero. We gotta make another bookmark. Right, go, go, go on it. This is kind of the tricky part. We're gonna have to make a bookmark and watch this distance down here and try to get it <laughs> about 500 or 400 off. And the timing here is kind of hard. I've messed it up a few times. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now? Did I get, oh no, I don't think I got it. I do not think I got it. We're gonna have to book it. Yep, go, go, go. I'm gonna have to book it this way. Now I've done this a few times and I've gotten away from the defense fleet, but um, it is not comfortable. <laughs> there they are. They kind of try to swarm me. Let's see if I make sure I don't get into, that's fine. As long as I don't get into web range, I should be okay. They do have realistic point range and web ranges, unlike the drifters, which will uh, <laughs> scram you for like 300 kilometers. 
it looks like we're good. Now, what I have to do now is a similar thing I did for the combat probing. I need to get them away from the impel, far enough away from it that I can warp back to it to kill it. Problem is, this takes time. It's quite tedious. And what are you doing, sir? This happened to me last time. I'm not sure where he's warping to, but it makes me <laughs> makes me anxious. Get back with your fleet. Get over there. <laughs> um, so this actually takes a few minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to pause the video for a second for you guys. I'm going to wait a few minutes. Wait till they get around the middle point uh, between. Let's see here. I'm um, about almost 200 came away. I want to get them 200 at least, at least 300 away. I think 200 is enough too, but it's a little, a little too close for me. At least 300 away, and, um, and then I'll restart the video. So be back in one minute, guys. All right, guys. <laughs> I think we're far enough away at this point. I probably over overcompensated a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Let's pan back out real quick. So the impel is about where are we here? 822 kilometers away. Middle is about here, give or take. So that's about four. They're about 300 away. This should be way more than enough space. So let's start to turn this off. We'll go into sharpshooter mode. Overheat the guns. And we can't uh, warp to the impel right away uh, from the actual impel, but we did save the bookmark, which is important. Warp to zero. Keep the impel here. Sure, we'll right through the fleet. Go, go, go. Alrighty. Now let's see the response fleet is almost 300 away. And these are the slowest ones. So we should be okay. Target this. Uh, scram them. I always do, but they don't even seem to move at this point. It looks like the AI is uh, at rest. So, but I do it anyway. I might just drop these scrams from the fit. I'll show the fit after we blow this thing up real quick. Make sure I keep it high in the heat in the guns here. Um, overheating the guns helps us to make this process go quicker. Um, I don't think it's actually necessary, but for time's sake, I do it. Just be careful. I almost overheated my <laughs> burn on my guns last time. All right. Make sure it's a cool explosion. I turn this off right about now. Ah, I could go on a little bit longer, but it's okay. Okay. So uh, this whole this whole uh, method for doing this, I got uh, from the uh, Eve University Wiki. Uh, they had a little paragraph set up for it. <laughs> I tried a few things on my own. I tried using um, battle cruisers. I tried using um, uh, polarized oracles. Uh, none of it worked. <laughs> none of it worked. Um, the, uh, for the battle cruiser front, it was um, the, the defense fleet was just too um, too varied, and not very predictable. Um, you know, at one point you get just frigates and no logi. Some point you get you no know, way more frigates and logi. And then some points I even got battleships and cruisers. And so I, I dropped taking our defense fleet on directly that way. Um, and obviously the Hecate and the polarized uh, Oracle was enough DPS. Uh, to take out before the fence fleet showed up. So this uh, this this method seems the most consistent. I tried it about six seven times, and without issues. Just keep an eye on these numbers here because if they get too close, you're in trouble. All right, come on. I might have to reload. That has never happened before. I know, Aura. I got over. Actually, probably should have overheated a little bit longer. Nothing we can't remedy with a few more bullets, though. So. Alright, he's gone. Let's pick up the loot. We're still good. We're not in range of any scrams or anything. Let's pick this up. And let's book off to a safe. Now you can come back for the, the salvage, as long as these numbers are far enough away. Um, I was thinking about at some point maybe putting a, a mobile depot in here. And then refitting, <laughs> because the salvage is pretty good. It is a, a, a tech two hauler, um, as long as you're not in um, <laughs> in danger of getting destroyed. Let's take a look what we got. I 
let's see here. Now the, the strong box was exactly the same as a bestower strong box. Um, and loot wise, I haven't really gotten anything super expensive out of these yet. So my fear is that they're exactly the same strong box as a bestower, and all this work is just unless like you know, just not worth it. But I'm hoping to see if uh, the more I do them, maybe if I'll get a better better luck than last time. See, I only got uh, a skin here, so let's see what I got here. A prospect. Oh, it's terrible. So the like, last three the last three in a row, I've got adventure skins, and this is a prospect. The first two, I got a Hulk skin. And I think it was like a skiff or something. But this is not very good. For all the extra work you could do for the impel, the reward isn't much better other than the um, the salvage you can get. Obviously, I've over, I think it's from three or four of them, 30 mil isn't terrible. It's a long time to get 30 mil, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's worth it. Let's take a look at the um, the actual fit. I, had, I did change it a little bit from the last video. Um... Not a whole lot. I know I had a, an afterburner here last time because I didn't have to move very fast to destroy the bestower. But in this situation, especially if you, you know, make that bookmark uh, on the third step uh, incorrectly and you got to bug out quickly, um, this puts you over the edge where they can't catch you. So the micro drive is very important. These scrams, I'm not sure you actually need because once you actually start shooting them in that safe spot, they stop moving. So I actually might just take these out and. Um, I don't put something else. I'm not sure what else I put in there though. Uh, maybe tracking mods for the guns. Um, obviously down lows I have just damage mods to get as much DPS as possible. Uh, I got my um, expanded probe launcher, which is good. Gives you, uh, I mean, not good, necessary, so you can scan them down. And up here I have those light neutron blaster twos. I was thinking about going with polarized just to make the um, uh, that last step go by quicker, which I might do. Now that I've done it enough times and know that it works consistently, um, at least we have here, we have a actually current router just to get a bit more uh, power grid. This for just a little bit extra speed, <laughs> just in case, and that's for slightly more DPS. So that is my fit. I will put the um, uh, the link of the article, well, the wiki page where I got the the explanation on how to do this from uh, Eve University in the description, just in case you want to read it. Um, it seems to work. I've done it a few times right now, and without any changes or variability uh, in the defense fleet, they, they always seem to slow boat to you if you're on grid. Um, they never seem to warp to you, even though that that it, uh, that Lodgy was warping some weird stuff going on there, but it never warped to me yet. So it seems to be consistent. Uh, but that is the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, of course, leave a like. If you like the content, of course, share and subscribe, and fly safe and flight brave.